no matter what you face no matter how bad it is going to be when there is a challenge and by a challenge I mean anything in life any any challenge anything that you're facing the only way to overcome the challenges that you face is to start walking take that step every day no matter what you are facing get up and start walking I have the ability to see the end before the beginning even begins and what that means is I know that to get to the very end I can see it right now so before I went to Bud's and I was losing all the weight and shit, I saw myself walking across the stage at 191 pounds that's what I had to get to, to, to get into the door I saw myself six months a year later whatever's gonna take me to do it I saw myself walking across that stage getting that certificate of graduation from Bud's and I was able to be there at 300 pounds and that feeling that I was nowhere near that feeling I was able to put myself there a million times every day and that feeling of like my god that is gonna feel amazing that's what made me suffer that's what allowed the pain to be real and say this is worth it I want to feel for this next 18 months it took me 18 months to finally become a Navy to finally you know just get through butts 18 months it's six months it took me 18 that's what woke me up every morning was I'm gonna put myself through this much pain and suffering for a few seconds that's all it is a few seconds of joy it's so f worth it, man. I said, people don't get it. So I'm able to put myself at the finish line, even though I have no finish line, but at the finish line of an event before I even start the and say, how are you going to feel at the end of this? Visualizing is, is my biggest tool of life. That's why I, I, I've been able to put myself in cold water, put myself in a hundred mile race millions of times before I've done it. And I've been able to go through the race and see how I'm going to feel at mile 50. Almost to the almost to the exact exact feeling. Right. So when it comes up, it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I've already done this a million times. I recommended the last time I was here the little book Richest Man in Babylon, and I said I've lectured now to over three million people. Guess how many have actually gone and got this little book? Answer: Very few. My best guess is ten percent. Such an easy thing to do. This little book, number one, is easy to find. Number two, it's easy to buy. The most you can pay for it, six, seven, eight dollars. You can borrow that from your kids. But if it's easy to find and easy to buy, and if it's easy to read, why wouldn't everybody go get it? We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Here's how profound it is. Some do and some don't. Now here's the numbers. About 10% do. We don't know the mystery of that. And I'm telling you, 10 years from now, those numbers will still be the same. The numbers don't change. Only the faces change. I used to belong to the 90% who couldn't be bothered even if it was easy. How many people have a library card? Answer, 3%. 97% couldn't be bothered. Guy specializes in happy hour, but he doesn't have a card. And now readily and quickly blames the government and blames his company and blames the pay scale. Here's my advice to you today. Walk away from the 97%. Don't talk like they talk. Don't go where they go. Don't act like they act. Don't specialize in what they specialize in. Throw away the blame list they cling to. You got to be consciously conscious today because your environment can hypnotize, mesmerize, and paralyze you. The other thing is take full responsibility for your life. Oscar Wilde once said, responsibility is what we expect from somebody else. This is very true. Most people dread accepting responsibility. That's just a fact of life, and we can see it in operation every day.